迎收睇《时代杂志》。改善室内空气质素系非常热门嘅话题，一阵介绍用天然嘅方法达到净化空气嘅效果。而家首先报道喺战火油轮下嘅九只。经历战乱会让人患上创伤后压力症，动物同样都会因饱受战火摧残，患上同一情绪疾病。一位嚟自安省万锦市嘅兽医喺波兰做义工，治疗受伤嘅九只时就话遇上前所未见咁多九只都患上创伤后压力症。佢出心出力，希望协助九只恢复新心灵健康。李荣如报道。As soon as my dad asked me if I wanted to come, I said yes immediately. Although it can be slightly scary to be、um, in and around a, a war area, I'm just so excited to go and to do our part in any way that we can. 二十一岁嘅 Emily 同佢任职兽医嘅爸爸 Dr. Rafford 最近结束咗为期两个星期嘅波兰之旅，喺四月三号翻到原居地安省万锦市。佢哋今次出行嘅目的并唔系游山玩水，而系要到波兰同乌克兰边境附近做义工，帮助拯救喺乌克兰受战乱影响而受伤嘅动物。Dr. Refer 已經唔係第一次出國參與動物救援志願工作，而因為近來鋪天蓋地有關俄烏戰爭嘅新聞報導，以一個行醫多年嘅獸醫對動物嘅敏感度，令 Dr. Refer 即刻聯想到當地被遺棄或者受傷動物嘅苦況，所以決定同當時已經喺歐洲嘅女 Emily 踏足呢個近住戰亂嘅地方做義工。It definitely triggered some emotion when I saw the people that these these refugees that were crossing the border, and you'd see these images of these these women and these older men and these children carrying animals either in their arms or there's one gentleman carrying this German Shepherd on his back because the dog couldn't walk very well, and these were pets and and they wanted to bring these pets with them. And I knew that there was going to be a problem with paperwork. These animals were going to be need to be vaccinated, and some of them were getting injured. And there was images on the news of these animals that had been shot or had been、uh, sort of hit by debris from exploding buildings, and and those that were hungry and diseased and dehydrated, and and they just didn't have the veterinarian care. Dr. Refer 以個人名義聯繫波蘭當地嘅動物救援團體，安排行程前往參與救援工作。佢通過網上眾籌，兩日內就籌得目標資金一萬蚊加幣，一半作為支付佢同個女 Emily 嘅行程費用，另一半則捐贈俾波蘭同烏克蘭當地嘅動物救援組織。As far as personal luggage, I only brought a carry-on. I ended up through volunteers and through donations. Other veterinarians in the Toronto area donated so much medicine, sutures, surgical hand tools, bandaging material. I ended up carrying with me three hockey bags full of all of these supplies. It ended up weighing 160 pounds, costing me about、uh, $300 for the for the three bags to to get to Europe. Dr. Refer 同我哋分享到，佢同 Emily 喺波兰期间，主要为动物庇护所内受伤嘅动物包扎伤口、检查身体。有一次，佢哋跟随波兰嘅志愿团体，前往位于乌克兰边境城市利沃夫嘅狗仔庇护所，配送医疗物资。佢哋本来打算将受伤嘅狗仔带翻波兰治疗。但 Dr. Refer 話：因為當時波蘭政府一啲法例嘅更改，導致佢哋唔可以將流浪狗隻帶入波蘭。以 Dr. Refer 多年行醫經驗，為狗隻包扎傷口，駕輕就熟。但 Dr. Refer 話，部分狗隻由於經歷過戰爭場面，有啲見到佢哋嘅主人被殺害，有啲狗隻甚至被俄軍毆打，造成唔少狗隻有創傷後壓力症症狀。呢啲狗隻有時會情緒低落，或者瞓瞓下覺扎醒，突然之間喊。呢種無形嘅傷口 ，Dr. Refer 就暫時愛莫能助啦。畢竟喺動物福利條件較優越嘅加拿大，佢未曾接觸過狗隻有創傷後壓力症症狀，或者需要其他精神治療嘅情況。For me, this is new. Seeing it in a dog and hearing about it in a large scale. There's one shelter I'm, I'm talking to that has 250 dogs that we're hoping to bring back to Canada to have, you know, to find new homes, to find their forever homes. But the shelter manager said 
all of these dogs are, none of them are adoptable right now. They're all dealing with extreme fear of people, um, extreme fear of loud noises. Unfortunately, it took something like this, like a war, for me to realize that animals can suffer from these mental health disorders just like people can. And we'll, uh, we'll see what's going on. Dr. Redford 同另一位嚟自澳洲嘅義工獸醫喺波蘭嘅時候，有一日神運途中，為一隻被掕線纏繞嘅鹿仔解困。但呢頭野生動物似乎唔知道眼前嘅人類係佢嘅救星，仲不斷嘗試掙脱同攻擊兩位獸醫。Would it surprise you if I told you nine months ago I had a total hip replacement? 佢哋與鹿仔鬥智鬥力，終於為佢解開束縛，讓鹿仔回歸大自然。And then all of a sudden, bang! It jumped up and ran away without a thank you, and it just took off and disappeared. 鹿仔唔懂得报答救命之恩，都系意料中事。真正令 Doctor Rafford 感到意外嘅系加拿大民众对佢今次喺波兰动物救援行动嘅支持。目前 Doctor Rafford 嘅众筹项目共筹得额外八万五千蚊加币。Dr. Refer 將會將呢筆善款轉贈俾波蘭同烏克蘭嘅不同動物組織，繼續推行救援工作。Dr. Refer 亦透露，佢計劃今年內將再次前往波蘭，繼續為當地動物救援工作出一分力。<音樂>